All right, in this chapter, let's go ahead and learn how to handle nulls with Postgres. The first keyword that I want to teach you is the coalesce keyword. So basically, the coalesce keyword allows us to have a default value in case the first one is not present. So go ahead and pretty much type select and then coalesce. So co and then less. And inside of this function right here, simply type one. And then if I press semicolon, you can see that we have the result, which is one, right? So in fact, let me go ahead and has and then name or actually number, right? And then press enter and you can see that the number is one. And when the first parameter for this function is null, it will simply give us the second value by default. So if I press enter, you can see that we still get one. So we could also have multiple parameters. So basically, if the first value is not present, try the second one. If that one is not present, try the third one, so on and so forth. So if I press enter, you can see that we still get one. But if I was to have, for example, one and then 10, you see that we still get one because it finds the very first value which is present in this entire array of values. And this is the coalesce. Now let's go ahead and pretty much just use this coalesce keyword with our data set. So let's go ahead and select everyone from person. And right here, you can see that we have a bunch of emails, but also we have people without emails. So right here, you can see that this person called Omar doesn't have an email. Nikos doesn't have an email. Nolly, Tynan, both don't have an email. So let's say that we want to select every single email. And for those people that don't have an email, we simply want to have an email with the value of email not provided. So to do that, what we're going to do is pretty much just select just email. So select and then email from an in person enter you can see that we only have emails but obviously we have people right here without emails right so here here and here and if i scroll down you see a lot more so let's go ahead and now use the coalesce syntax that we've just learned so coalesce so co and then less and then within parentheses we will have an email right so if i press enter you see that nothing changes but now if I go ahead and pretty much just write the same command or the same query, press comma, and then right here, I can specify the default value when the email is no. So right here, I'm going to say email not provided and then press enter. And now if you look at this, you can see that we have email not provided here, right here, right here, right here. And if I scroll down, we should see a lot more. So right here, right here, and that goes forever. And this is it. So coalesce is very powerful. So whenever you have a column which is null and you want to have a default value, use coalesce. This is all for now. Join me in the next video. See ya.